Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to add slicers to each column in a table in Excel using VBA macros. And if you're not familiar with the slicers, the slicers can easily be added going to insert a slicer, but we need to have a table to add the slicers. So we so first we need to convert this to a table and then add the slicers manually and then place the slicers where we want. So with this macro, we're going to do all of that automatically in just one click. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor, insert a module, and this is going to be add slicers to table or something like that. And first of all, we're going to declare some variables, RNG as a range, that's going to be the range with data. Then we're going to have our RNG table, and that's going to be a list object that's a table object in Excel. And then we will have the column index, let's call it call as an integer, and the call name, the column name as a string. We're also going to need the position and dimensions for each slicer because they behave as shapes. So we need to have the horizontal and vertical positions and the width and height dimensions. So x as integer. Now we set the range to whatever we want and usually we're going to have the used range in the active sheet. And if the range is not a table, we need to convert it to a table. So if active sheet list objects dot count is zero, then that means we don't have any table. And I assume you're going to work only with one table. Then in this case, we're going to add and the type is going to be a source range comma, which is going to be the target range or the used range in that worksheet. We can end the if statement here. So let me just put a commentary here. This converts range to table, into table. And now we're going to add the slicers. The first thing we'll do is to set RNG table equals to active sheet dot list objects one because we're going to have only one table and by the way that's wrong and that's also wrong i'm typing too fast and now for call equals one to as many columns as we have in the range so that's rng.columns.count and in this example we just have three columns so this is going to loop three times and for each column, we're going to get the reference values. So with cells, rows one in column, we get the call name in that cell with dot value. Then we're going to change in that cell the row height. And let's put it 90. I think so. I think that's going to allow about three items in the slicer, but that depends on your resolution. And then we need to get the position and dimension of that cell to add the slicer. So we're going to add the slicer to the top cell for each column, right? So that's going to be X is going to be the left position and Y is going to be the top. W is going to be the width and the height. And we've used these properties many times when working with shapes. There are quite a few videos on my channel. Now we can end the with statement and finally we can add the slicer before we move to the next column. So to add the slicer, we need to, we need to target the slicer sketch object in the active workbook. Here it is, slicer sketches dot add to this, this method here. So add and the source is the range table and the source field is the column name. And then let me continue in the next line. We're going to add the slicers with the slicer add in the active sheet. That's the destination. The level parameter, we can omit that. And the name of the table, it could be also the column name or whatever other name you want. The caption, that should be the column name. So that is the same as the header. And then we have to add the top, which was Y, left, width, and height, position, and dimensions to add the slicer. That's a bit long, but hopefully it makes sense. Finally, we can move to the next column. And that's it. I see there is a mistake here. 
but uh, hopefully the rest is okay. We can run the macro and see how it works. And as you see, we've got a slicer for each column at the top row. And of course, we could probably align the width of the columns before we add the slicers. So let's let's do it again and maybe try to have a bit wider uh, columns for brand, model, maybe not necessary for year. And then if we run the macro again, we get the slicer here for each column. And it's much easier to filter the data with the slicers, right? We can select only Audi, only Fiat, Citroën, and, and, and so on, right? And then we can choose here Opel Corsa or, or any cars from 2002, and so on and so forth. So that's how we add slicers to each column automatically in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.